Hey everyone, Yvonne here. Today, we're gonna jump into the world of website builders and we're gonna be comparing some of the most popular platforms out there, Webflow and Squarespace. Both platforms are known to have an amazing user experience and their own customizable templates, but they do have their own strengths and weaknesses. So in this video, we'll be comparing the two platforms and see exactly how they stack up against each other when it comes to customization, easy to use, SEO, e-commerce, and pricing. That way, you'll know exactly which tool to use for your next upcoming project. Let's get right into it. Now, if you guys wanna follow along with what I'm doing, there's gonna be two links down in the description for both Webflow and Squarespace for you guys to check out. In this example, I'm gonna get started with Squarespace. Now to hop right into things, all we gotta do is just press get started. Then we gotta select what the website is gonna be about. That way Squarespace can actually pick out some of the features that are gonna be useful for our website. So let's go ahead and select medium podcast and gaming. But also if you guys are just playing around and are unsure how to answer a specific question, all you gotta do is just press skip down below. Now for this example, let's go ahead and choose a template as it's gonna be a little easier for us to understand exactly how Squarespace works. And when you guys are on this page, all you gotta do is see exactly which template you guys like. So I'm just gonna select the first one right over here, choose the color pattern, and then you guys are gonna be ready to go. But in order for us to have a complete account and Squarespace remember who we are, we do gotta enter some more details. So let's go ahead and create our account with email. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my name, first and last, Yvonne Borzenko, add Yvonne Borzenko, and my password. Boom, ready to go. And once we've gone through that, we can go ahead and easily name it. So I'm gonna name it Yvonne Borzenko Psych. Now look, I'm gonna get real with you. Here's the best part about Squarespace is the fact that you can actually actually drag and drop different things and it's super easy to customize different parts of your page. You can also create pages, but again, some of those features will be limited depending on the plan that you have. And again, when it comes to styling your website with different fonts and colors, all you gotta do is press on the styles icon. You can actually modify different things in there. So let's get started. Now, if you guys wanna edit your website, it's very straightforward. All we gotta do is just press edit. Now remember, as I promised, Squarespace is really straightforward to use. If we wanna go ahead and add a section right over here, right under our header, all we gotta do is press add section and select the one that we like. Let's just go ahead and choose the introduce your own brand one. Boom, looks pretty clean. From here on, we can actually change where it's located on our page, making it lower or higher. But also let's go ahead and edit it. So from here, you can actually really easily change your text to whatever you want it to be, even making the size smaller if you'd like. And look, if you wanna move a specific part of the page, it's really easy. All you gotta do is just hold on to it. And as you can see, there's a grid where we can actually move it. And you can just drag it wherever you want. So for example, right over here. Again, with different things like bolding, text color, all those things we can also modify. But again, this is not a Squarespace tutorial, but we do have other videos on the channel that go over Squarespace pretty in depth. So I would check those out. The main point I've been trying to make with Squarespace the entire time is how easy it is to use. So if we go ahead and add a blank section to our website right over here, we can just add different blocks to it. Now, whenever we go ahead and add different blocks to our website, all we got to do is just press add block and things like text, button, images, videos, we can easily add. And if we scroll down, there's going to be a lot more options. And look, check it out. Within these different blocks, they actually categorize it all the way through filters and lists, integrations like with Instagram, with business, so for anything e-commerce related and all the basic features that any website would have. So if you want to go ahead and add something that's more e-commerce related, all you got to do is just scroll down, find the business tab and boom, add it on there. So there are a ton of benefits with this simplicity as we can actually push the website out really, really fast. However, there are a lot of limitations that comes with it as well. The biggest one is that it's a little difficult to go outside of the invisible walls that Squarespace has built around us. And look, the biggest benefit is our ability to have short and concise user-friendly URLs. That's going to be a huge plus for SEO and people actually finding our website. Now let's hop over into pricing. So let's press save right over here and exit. A great benefit of you guys using the exclusive link down below is a 14 day free trial that you guys get. However, another benefit, if you guys are thinking a little long term, is that we actually offer a 10% discount with our own discount code. So let me show you how you guys get it. All we gotta do is just press subscribe right over here. And from here, the pricing page is gonna appear. There are gonna be four different options, ranging from personal all the way to advanced. If you are a beginner and you're just looking to publish your first website with your own custom domain, I would just stick with the personal. But as you website grows, I will go ahead and level up the plan accordingly. But for this example, if you are a beginner and you're just looking for a place to just host all your stuff, the personal plan is going to be the best. So all we got to do is just press select on it and we can actually either pay annually or monthly. So as an example, let's we'll just stick with the monthly option. From there, all you got to do is just enter your address. We got to enter your name and your payment information. And from here, whenever you guys get to the promo code, make sure to enter my first website in all caps and you should be getting 10% off off your guys' purchase. And as you guys can see, since we selected the monthly option, we're only going to get a discount of $2.50. However, if we were to select the annual version, you'll be much greater than that. But no matter what, it would just remain at 10%. Now we've gone over Squarespace and let's take a look over the second tool that we're going to use for website building called Webflow. Now, same drill as before, make sure to check out the link down in the description so you guys can keep up with me as I'm going through everything. So let's get right into it. Now, all we got to do to get started is press right over here. Now, whenever we go through the process, again, I've created many different accounts in the past. So I'm just going to use a temporary email. And once you guys have gone ahead and added it, all you got to do now is just 
have add a password of your choice and you're going to be ready to go. And once you guys are inside of the platform, just add your first and last name. So for me, it's Ivan Brzenko. Add what you're going to use it for. So in this case, scenario, just for myself, I'm not a student. And if we're looking at what type of website we're going to build, the reason why they're asking it is going to be a little easier for us to have the tools that we want to have. If we go ahead and, for example, press the business side, as it's already going to be pre-made for that specific function. But in this case scenario, let's just go ahead and press other since I'm not sure. And look, I get it. I know there's a ton of material when it comes to figuring out if Squarespace or Webflow is going to be the best solution for you. That's why we've created a completely free service that can set up your guest's first website for you. Check out the link in the description where you guys can find more details. For the time purposes, I'm just going to exit out of the tutorial just to get started on our website. Now, whenever we get started, we're presented with two different options. First, we could either have a blank website where we have a blank canvas or you could go with a template. I personally prefer the template just because it has so many different custom features that are already built into it. All you got to do is just customize it to your liking. So let's go with a template for this example. Now, there are going to be a couple of free ones, but also if you scroll down, there are also going to be a couple of paid ones that you can select. I don't know about you, but I personally really like blue. So let's go ahead and select the startup template right over here. It's going to be Yvonne's awesome website and let's create it. Now, whenever you guys get started in Webflow, it's going to be a little different than Squarespace. With Squarespace, it's going to be a lot of drag and drop, but with Webflow, it's going to be a little more complex than that. However, you can customize it as much as you want. So let's go ahead and actually click on the main title right over here. And as you guys can see on the right, there are going to be all the different features, how we can actually modify the headliner, all the way to the typography that it has, to the color of the font, to the size, the style of it, to where it's located. And if we scroll down, there's going to be even more options available for us. And I know it's very easy to get lost in the weeds when it comes to Webflow. What helps me a ton to not get lost in the weeds is actually go to the navigator tab. And right over here, you can actually press a carrot. And from here, you can see all the contents that are located within a specific section. And that goes on and on and on. Because remember, different sections have other micro components located within those. And now similar to Squarespace, if we want to go ahead and add an element to our page, all we got to do is just select, for example, a heading or a paragraph, and we just drag it where we want it. Or we can actually drag it, drag it within the navigation tool itself. And voila, it's right over here. And if we want to customize it, all the customization features are going to be on the right hand side. And the main point I'm trying to drill here is that Webflow is much more customizable compared to Squarespace. And even though Squarespace has a much smaller learning curve, it can allow you to publish your first website much faster. If you were to master Webflow, you can create anything. Pretty much the biggest marketing tagline within Webflow is you can actually customize anything you want without actually knowing any of the code. However, I do got to warn you as it helps a ton to know the basic HTML foundations such as Nibblox and containers. Similar on the e-commerce side, if we want to go ahead and add anything related to e-commerce on our website, all we got to do is press the store button right over here and we'll just launch our product into the store. Now check this out. The reason why there's so many different steps when it comes to publishing your guys' first product is to ensure that the user experience is going to be phenomenal for any customer visiting your website. And if you guys are interested, you can even check out how your website looks like for desktop, tablets, and smartphones. That way, you can actually customize it for each specific device. And look, I know I just flowed through Webflow. There are a ton more things to cover, such as animations or even how to build your first web page. Now, don't worry. On this channel, we actually make videos about these exact type of topics. So check out our channel for more videos like this. Now, let's get into the juicy part, the pricing. Now, there are five different plans that are available. If you're a beginner, I personally recommend either the basic or the starter plan. If you're just playing around the platform and seeing if it's going to be right fit for you, try the starter plan. That way, you can actually build a website and see if it's going to be a good fit for you. However, if you are confident and you're ready to take your website to the next level, publish it, do all those great things, I will go ahead and go with the basic version. However, if your website grows and you're getting more and more traffic, go ahead and go with the CMS or the business plans. And hey, maybe your venture will one day turn into enterprise. Now, the biggest differences when it comes to these plans is pretty much the amount of traffic we can handle, the content that we can actually publish on the website, and different quantitative variables that are present within the website. Those could include CMS items, form submissions, or even editors for your website. And there you guys have it. In conclusion, both Webflow and Squarespace are fantastic website builders, but they just cater to different needs. If you're looking for a user-friendly platform that's just out of the box, check out Squarespace as it's going to be much easier for you guys to use. However, if you are looking for something a little bit more advanced, I'll go with Webflow as you can customize your website to a much greater extent. But either way, I cannot wait for you guys to start using either one of the platforms as you guys are going to have a stunning website in no time. And I hope you guys been able to enjoy this video as it can save you guys a lot of headache along the way. And again, if you guys are interested in trying out Squarespace or Webflow for yourself, check out the link down in the description for those free trials. And if you guys need a little bit more help with setting up your guys' first website, we also have a service for that that has it completely for free. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this and everything is going to be linked in the description. Till next time, peace.